Dr. David Kahn here with another uh, question from the Question Bank. We're looking at topic 9.4, resolution and the Rayleigh criteria. We have light from two monochromatic distant point sources, S1 and S2, uh, and they're incident on a narrow slit. After passing through the slit, the light is incident on a screen over here. So the light from S1 passes into the slit and diffracts, and we get a diffraction pattern over here. And the light from S2 passes through the slit, arrives over here, and we get a diffraction pattern over here. On the axes below, draw the intensity distribution of the diffraction on the screen from each source when they are just resolved, which is a uh, part of the Rayleigh criteria. The Rayleigh criteria says that when two images are just resolved, when you can just barely tell that they are separate images, uh, that occurs when their diffraction patterns overlap in such a way that the first maximum overlaps with the first minimum. So we'll start by drawing the diffraction pattern from, say, S1. We have our central maximum, followed by subsequent bright and dark spots. dark, bright, dark, bright, dark, bright, and so on. And then we'll take S2. Bring that over here. And we want the maximum and the minimum to overlap. So that's S2. We can see that the maximum from S2 is above the minimum for S1, and the maximum for S1 is above the minimum for S2. So that's just resolved. In Part B, it says a woman views the approaching car at night. Uh, the aperture of her eyes are 3 millimeters, and the headlamps of the cars are separated by 1.2 meters. They emit light of wavelength 400 nanometers. We want to calculate the distance from the car at which the woman can just resolve the headlamps. So when the car is very, very far away, she's not able to tell that there are actually two headlamps there. The light merges in such a way that it looks like just one headlamp. And we want to find how far away is the car when she can just tell that there are two. This comes from the equation for the Rayleigh criteria, and it says that the angle between the rays of light that we're trying to resolve has to be greater than or equal to 1.22 lambda on B. Lambda is the wavelength of the light, and B is the diameter, diameter of the aperture that we're sending the light through, which would be the diameter of our eyes. Uh, 1.22 is like a geometric correction factor for the circular aperture of, of something, like a lot, something like an eye or a telescope. Um, for other geometrical shapes, it's a different uh, constant. But since it's a uh, circle, 1.22. Uh, this means that we can solve for theta. It has to be at least 400 nanometers divided by 3 millimeters. And that works out to 1.6 times 10 to the negative 4 radians. Well, that gets us part of the way there. Basically, what we're saying now is, is if this is one of the headlights, and this is one of the headlights, that's theta. So that's uh, our eye that we're trying to get the light into. What we want to know is what is this distance. And the only other thing that we know is the separation between the bulbs, 1.2 meters. Well, theta is very small, which means that this distance is going to be much, much greater than the separation between the bulbs. And that's going to allow us to approximate this isosceles triangle as a right triangle, which allows us to say that the tangent of theta is equal to uh, 1.2 divided by d. 
In addition, because theta is so small, we can use the small angle approximation and say that theta is equal to uh, 1.2 on d, or d is equal to 1.2 on theta, which we calculated just a second ago, 1.6 times 10 to the negative 4. Uh, using the calculator, we get that d then is 7.4 times 10 to the third meters. So 7.4 kilometers away.